So, Anthem. That's a thing. Yay! Hey guys, I swear here, and we're going to be talking about Anthem, Bioware's newest IP revealed at E3 this year. Formerly known as Project Dylan, I'm going to be talking about what we know so far and my general thoughts about it because fuck me son, I have a few. So Anthem looks to be set in a primal world save for a few sci-fi elements like the power armor or javelins as they call them in the gameplay trailer. It felt very Destiny-esque to me when I first saw the little teaser trailer and I had my doubts about it. So I figured, nah, let's reserve judgment until we see the gameplay tomorrow. And the gameplay has been revealed, and well, I'm honestly not too keen on it, eh? The game is described as so. A shared world action RPG with exosuits, where basically you and your friends can team up and go out on adventures in this wild new world. It's very MMO-y, very much like Destiny. Basically Destiny. <laughs> it has been confirmed, however, that the game will have a single player mode and you can finish the entire game without having to play with anyone. So if you're like me and you're introverted with a preference to avoid all human contact in games and in general, you're in luck. I will give it this though. The game itself looks gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. A lot of care was clearly put into creating this environment. The creatures running about, even the animations of the characters and beasts roaming about. And I'll even throw forward that these javelins look kind of fun. Honestly, I mean, flying about in them. You're basically Iron Man. I like Iron Man. He's cool. I want to be Iron Man. If this game lets me be Iron Man, then that's a, a plus in my book. It's all very pretty. But at what cost? Clearly this was Bioware's main priority. Anthem was their personal most anticipated game and they pretty much threw Mass Effect Andromeda under the bus, sacrificing the newest entry into one of their most popular franchises. Yes, the team working on Anthem is Bioware Edmonton, who were in charge of the original Mass Effect trilogy and the Dragon Age series, which is a different team from the one that worked on Andromeda. But, however, I think my point still stands. Mass Effect Andromeda was anticipated by fans of the franchise for years. Before they knew that it was set to be Mass Effect Andromeda, they looked forward to a new addition to the series because no one knows what was going to happen after Commander Shepard and after Mass Effect Freeze ending. They rushed the release date of the game despite having multiple issues with its production. Now I'll link to an article written about that side of things down in the description because if I talk about it in this video, we'll be here for 84 years as there's so much shit that went on behind the scenes in Bioware Montreal. Anyway, the release was rushed. They bloody knew that it wasn't ready for release. And EA being the money hungry lot they are, most likely went, Oh, you want to delay the game? It's not ready yet? Yeah, nah, stop that. You're releasing this game on this exact date. We want money. Sorry, bud. And Andromeda was released. It got a bad reception because it wasn't a finished product. It still isn't a finished product, even with the patches that they brought out. We are on patch 108 at the moment, and they've just improved the character creator... They've added a romance option that should have been included from launch, even though they decided to, I don't know, not put it in for some bizarre reason. As well as the multiple animation issues that they've had. God, the fucking animations. This comment made by ye old Donkey Kong on Reddit, God bless you for that username by the way, sums up both the situation and my feelings regarding Anthem pretty well. The fact that both Mass Effect Andromeda and Anthem run on the same engine, Frostbite, yet Anthem looks substantially better and has absurdly better facial animations, tells me the same thing. Anthem was clearly their focus and I almost hate them for it. My favourite franchise was released in a state that wasn't as good as it could have been just so we could have another live service multiplayer Destiny clone in the market, because that's original. But now I turn the focus to you guys. What are your thoughts on Anthem? Do you like what you've seen so far of the game? Perhaps your opinion is a lot different from mine. Do you not like it? As always, let me know down in the comments below. Me personally, I feel very let down by Anthem. I'm probably not going to be picking up the game when it comes out since it just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. And I may or may not have a strong case of salt syndrome. If you like this, be sure to leave a like and or subscribe if you are new. Consider supporting my Patreon as it will fuel the growth of my content's quality and the variety of said content you guys will see on this channel. 
And as always, it is Icefly signing off, and I'll see you in Javetsu later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day slash night wherever you are in the world. Bye!